Hi and welcome back to another episode of the Jessica Cook podcast. I'm super excited to be here. Today I want to chat to you about cardio and weights. It's something I get asked about often and I want to make it super clear on this podcast as a woman over 40 how much cardio you should be doing, how much strength you should be doing, what's the difference, so that you can quickly go to start getting results if you are not getting results right now. I'm going to lay it out for you really simply exactly what you need to do so that you can feel really fit and capable and strong and healthy and feel really good in your clothes and all that lovely empowerment that you get from doing the right type of exercise that gets you the type of results that you want which is really, really cool. And it's a question I get asked often, how much cardio should be doing? What is strength training? What are the type of exercises you could be doing? And just to give you a little bit of a backstory with me, I used to do so much cardio and I used to be really overweight and I used to really fluctuate with my weight. I would go between being three stone overweight, back down to lose the three stone, to up a stone, to down two stone. You know that roller coaster, right? where you're just around and around looping, where I never really thought that I was going to be one of those people that identified with being fit and healthy. I always thought I was going to be one of those people that if you met me at an event, like a wedding, I was going to be trim in that moment, just enough time for the photographs. And then if you hadn't met me like two months later, you could see that I had fluctuated back again. That was me. I used to lose weight for events and then pile it all back on again. I used to just really struggle. I remember one particular day, I'd eaten too much the day before, my clothes were really tight, and I was looking at myself side on at the reflection of a window. I was outside in the back garden and there's a window into our office and I could just see really clearly my side profile and I was just like, oh my God. So I put my trainers on and I went for a run. Now, I already had done a lot of exercise that week. I had pounded the pavements every day for about 45 minutes. I had a treadmill in my house and I'd been up and down on the treadmill a good few times. And my solution back then was to just do more exercise. That was kind of me all over. Being really obsessed about how I looked, really craving to be fit and healthy, but doing things that didn't really serve me. And my solution back then was just to do more of the things that didn't serve me. So when it came to exercise, I would just try and do more. And I felt like this person that had a carrot dangling in front of them, except the carrot was like somebody that says, yes, you will lose weight. And I was just, I just had this image of me just running, 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 walking, walking, but not getting anywhere and not for a minute thinking about changing tack. So if you can relate to any of this, this is where I can really help you. I can help you shorten your time. Instead of you taking years and years from now to find the solution to get fit, to feel really great in your clothes, if you, if you do what I did and and what I did when I swapped, it worked. And now I do that with hundreds, thousands of my clients that have gone through my Thrive coaching program um, to, to, to get fit and to feel great in their bodies and to be fit and healthy as a woman over 40. You don't need to be pounding the pavements. So what do you need to be doing? Well, I just wanted to share with you the difference between cardio and a strength workout. Now, by a cardio workout, I mean things like getting on the treadmill, the cross trainer, walking, jogging, all of those all of those cardiovascular exercises like Zumba classes, anything that's not weight bearing, anything that doesn't put like resistance on the muscles is pretty much a cardio workout. So when you do cardio workouts, you do not burn fat at rest. You do not get a high metabolism. You do not increase your bone density. You do not build lean muscle. You do not tighten and tone. You do not go easy on your joints. You have a high risk of injury and you do not burn calories all day long. So if you're a woman over 40 and you are just doing cardio exercise, if you're going to the gym now and you are hopping on a treadmill, you're hopping on a cross trainer, or you're going out walking and you are not getting results, that is why. You hop on a cross trainer, you hop on a treadmill, you go for a walk and it is 
you feel great. I, I, I think it's great. All exercise is great exercise. Move your body, change your mood. It's absolutely terrific. So don't get me wrong. I'm talking, I'm talking to you if you are doing exercises, but you want to get results from those exercises. Your doctor has told you you're at a risk of osteoporosis. You're worried that if you fall, you're going to get a fracture. You feel really weak in your body. You feel like you're not, you just feel like jellyish you feel flabby you don't feel like your body is firm and tight and toned you don't feel strong i'm talking to you if this is you that cardio is a great exercise for your heart and lungs and you feel really amazing when you do it but it doesn't actually change anything within your body all those things that i mentioned that it doesn't do like you don't burn fat at rest it doesn't give you a high metabolism it doesn't do anything for your bone density you don't increase your bone density you don't increase your lean muscle mass now these things are really really important as a woman over 40 you want to be strong you want to have good bone density especially as we get older you don't want to fall to be fatal you don't want to fall and fracture your wrist or break your your leg but these things happen, and you're more at risk of these things happening if you don't do some form of strength training. So I just want to repeat that again. The cardio workout, you don't burn fat at rest, you don't get a high metabolism, you don't increase your bone density, you don't increase your lean muscle, you don't get tight and firm, you don't go easy on your joints, and you don't burn calories all day long. With strength training, you do. You do all that stuff. You do burn fat at rest. You do get a high metabolism. You do increase your bone density. You do increase your lean muscle mass. You do tighten and tone. You do, you are, it is easy on the joints. You, it is a low risk of injury and you do burn calories all day long. So if I'm doing strength training and you're doing cardio, I'm burning pretty much double the amount of calories throughout the day compared to you. I'm burning fat when I'm sitting at my desk, when I go for a nap, when I sleep at night. I'm just burning fat all day long. My metabolism is super high, really efficient, and I am burning energy all day long. You're not. You're not. Your metabolism isn't 1% helping you out in any shape or form. And as a woman over 40, your metabolism decreases so much every year as you go over 40, every year as you go through each decade after 40. So cardio, you might burn some energy off in your workout, but strength training, not only do you burn energy off in your workout, but you just burn energy off all day long. And when that's, that's because you've built lean muscle mass and you can't get bulky when you lift weights. That's an absolute myth. Those female bodybuilders that you see, they're drinking a lot more than, than protein shakes. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, you can't get bulky. You can't. You can only get lean and tight and toned. And the good news is, if you were to do strength training three times a week, 20 to 30 minute workouts, by strength training, I mean resistance, putting resistance on your, your muscles, doing things like press ups and squats and lunges and shoulder presses and upright rows, lifting dumbbells, starting off with 3 kg, moving your body, lifting weights, putting resistance on your body, stay, getting a strong core, doing planks, doing sit-ups, doing gluteal bridges, all those kind of stuff. If you do that three times a week, you're going to be as fit as a fiddle. And what most people don't know is that if you do a good strength training workout, you get all the cardio gains you need. So what I do and what I do with my clients is we work out three times a week for, we do a 20 minute Tuesday and then we do two 30 minute workouts. They're all uh, strength training workouts. However, we're getting cardio gains in the workout. We're getting a good workout for our heart and lungs in our strength session. So what I do on top of that, I've got two dogs at home, Buster and Ozzy. They're miniature schnauzers. I love them so much. I go for walks with them. But the lovely thing is when you're working out three times a week and you're doing your strength exercises and you're getting your cardio gains, you're not pounding the pavements. You're going for an actual relaxed walk and you don't have to put any time pressure on it. You can just go for sometimes a 10 minute walk, sometimes a 30, sometimes a 20, whatever it is, there's no pressure. Anytime you get up off your chair and you get into the car and you go shopping, you're doing cardio. You get so enough cardio in your day-to-day -day life. If you do those strength workouts three times a week, you get a couple of walks in and then you just the rest of the time you're just living your life. 
There is absolutely no need to count steps. Steps is just so crazy. If you think about it, what are you actually counting? You're counting how many steps you've taken in a day. There's absolutely no need for you to do that. I just want you to know that. I used to count steps religiously. And then one day I realized, hang on a second, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm still struggling. What am I doing? Why am I actually counting my steps? Did their ancestors count their steps? No. Were they healthier in some ways than us? Yes. Counting your steps. You don't need to. You don't need to if you do dedicated workouts and you're working out three times a week and those workouts are strength training, you definitely don't need to be walking around counting your steps. In fact, I encourage you, if you're in any way a brain similar to mine where you can get a little bit obsessed with things, I don't count or track anything when it comes to my food and my fitness. It's an absolute waste of time and it turns something, in my opinion, really positive into something really negative. I don't look at any apps anymore. Um, I have an Apple Watch that I only check for the time. Focus on what your body needs. Do the right type of exercise as a woman over 40 and you will never need to count your steps or count timers on treadmills or calories burned or any of that stuff ever again. So how much cardio do you need to be doing? Couple of walks, get those strength training workouts in, you'll have enough cardio gains in those strength workouts. However, with strength training, you're gonna get a high metabolism, you're gonna burn fat at rest, you're gonna feel great in your clothes, you're gonna increase your bone density, you're gonna build your lean muscle mass, you're gonna tighten and tone your body, there's a low risk of injury, it's very easy on the joints, it's good for your heart and lungs, and you burn calories all day long. So go out and get that strength training in the bag and I promise you, you'll save yourself a hell of a lot of time and you'll get super fit and healthy. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to share it with somebody who you think may get 